and kiss us play. It was a spooky Halloween night on the island of Sodor. At Tidmouth Sheds, all the engines were getting ready for trick-or-treating. Luke was off to the Blue Mountain Quarry. Trick or treat! Who's there? Luke! Luke who? Luke through the keyhole and see! That's funny! Here's your treat! Alright, something happened to our egg. I don't know what happened there. What do you think happened? I don't know. What's a not surprise egg? What do you think it is? Do you think it's something spooky and Halloween-y? Yes. Yeah, some type of robots. Go move. These are called Go Move. Looks like it comes with a sticker. Do you want Daddy to put that sticker on? Okay, we think we got this guy figured out on how to use. Push him all the way down. Black. We'll pinch him by the sides and just push him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, he jumped super far. Let's back that up. I was trying to make him touch the ceiling. This guy's really super bouncy. Really judge how much he can jump. He can jump super far. Whoa. Next, it was Diesel 10's turn. Diesel 10 went off to the waterfall. Trick or treat. Who's there? Boo! Boo who? No need to cry, it's only Halloween. Ha ha ha. Here's your Kinder Egg. Egg number two, let's see what this surprise is. What? It's a, we got two eggs and they're the exact same guy. Are you happy about that? <laughs> yeah, now they can be buddies. Oh yeah, they can be the exact same buddies. So now we got two of these high jumpers. Do you want to have a jumping competition? Let's have a jumping competition. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh wow! <laughs> I, I jumped right into the chocolate. Look, He's like you, he wants chocolate. Hey look, they're eating. Da, 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 Stop da, eating da, all da, the chocolate. Da, Stop da, eating da, all the chocolate, da, you two da, guys. Da, da. Next, it was Philip's turn to go trick-or-treating. Next, Philip went to the old shipwreck. Trick or treat. Who's there? Phil. Phil who? Phil my trek up with Kinder Eggs. Ha ha ha, here's a surprise. Okay, let's get this egg. Do you think there's anything good in this egg? Maybe another one of these guys, but just a different one, because those are super fun. That's a good looking egg. Crack? Let's see what this guy is. Do you think it's another one of these guys? What? What? We got, exact, we got three in a row of exactly the same guy. This is absolutely insane. These are exactly the same thing. What are the chances that we got three of the exact same guy? This is a little disappointing. 
we got three of the exact same guy. I mean, they're good toys. They jump really far, but we need, we had three in a row. What are the chances? Next, it was Thomas's turn to go trick or treating. He was off to the steelworks. Trick or treat. Who's there? Ice cream. Ice cream who? I scream every time I see a ghost. Ho ho, that's a funny joke. Here's your surprise. What are the chances that this guy is another one of these guys? What do you think? I hope it is. I hope not. Oh, it's something else. Yeah. Oh, these are one of those tops. Remember the tops that we had? Oh. These are fun to play with. Oh yeah, we got do-it-yourself fidget spinners. Do you wanna get these going? Let's get these made up. Let's get these things going. Oh, there's two. We're gonna get number three in here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yay! Oh, that'll work right there. See if you can get that guy a spin, see what happens. Couples. Oh, hey, yeah, let's see if we can knock these guys over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Next, Murdoch was going to go trick or treating. Murdoch was going to go on a castle quest. You know which way to go to the castle. Oh, he'll find his way. Knock knock. Who's there? Vampire. Vampire who? Vampire State Building. Haha, <laughs> digital kings are surprising. Do you think this is gonna be one of these jumper guys again? I can't believe we got three in a row. What are the odds? How many times we've never gotten three in a row? We only got two in a row or one in a row. We usually get, yeah, we've gotten two in a row before, but never three in a row. You just wanna eat all the chocolate. You only wanna play with the toys. This I do. Now, is it gonna be one of these jumpers again? Oh no, it's another top. What? At least they're different, but I mean, we got two tops and we got three jumper guys. Oh, these are different types of tops at least. That's good. You have to match them. These things are easy to make. You ready to go? Oh, you're really getting that one going. Spinning it right on the couch. Good job, buddy. Three, two, one, go. And you landed on, oh, what did you land on? Fire. Oh, and Daddy landed on fire. We match. On the other side of these is rock, paper, scissors. Let's have a rock, paper, scissors fight. Go. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, you won paper. Let's just say you won that one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, daddy. Oh, man. Daddy keeps falling off. Maybe daddy's spinning too hard. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it looks like you're paper. And I'm scissors. Scissors beats paper. Finally, it was Percy's turn to go trick-or-treating. Percy went all over. Percy went all over the island of Sodor looking for treats. He went to the Sodor Steelworks. He went to the Blue Mountain Quarry. 
went to the haunted castle. He went to the waterfall. even went to the old haunted ship, but he couldn't find surprise treats anywhere. Finally, poor Percy went to Brendam Docks, where he found Sir Topham Hat waiting. Trick or treat! Who's there? Which? Which who? Which way to the Kinder Surprise Eggs? <laughs> Cranky slowly started bringing the Kinder Surprise Egg over when suddenly, whoops, looks like Percy got a trick instead of a treat. Oh, Percy. Okay, here's Percy's egg, are you ready? I wonder what this egg has. I would be really, really, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually had another one of these. So far we got two sets of tops and we have three of the jumper guys. Yeah. What? Another it's, one. It's another one, but it's a different color. Oh, are you happy about that? Yeah. This is terrible. <laughs> so here's the fourth one. Just as tall and just as big as the other three. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's watch him bounce. Whoa. Wow, are you, are you hearing him land? Did he? So we got the battle tops, we got these funny trippy tops, we've got three of the same jumper guys and we got a fourth jumper guy. Which one's your favorite, William? Oh. You like all of them? You know what my favorite is? I like this jumper guy, but not the other two. Just kidding. I actually, I kind of like the tops, but these jumper guys are actually really far. Maybe this guy's my favorite. Yippee! Besides, Yippee! Let us know what your favorite thing was and put it in the comment section. It was a spooky Halloween on the island of Sodor. At Tidmouth Sheds, Sir Topham Hatt was telling the engines what needed to be done. Hurricane, you must go to the steelworks. Thomas and James, you have the night off and can go trick-or-treating. Flynn, you are on safety watch. And Percy, the mail cars are waiting. Ahoy, Percy, says Salty. Be careful of the ghost train. Ghost train, says Flynn. There's no such thing. What's the ghost train? Tales of a haunted train that roam the island of Sodor once a year. And tonight's the night she goes. Gulp. Percy, there's nothing to worry about, says Flynn. There's no such thing as a ghost train. I'm not worried, says Hurricane, and he sets off to work. You're not a scaredy engine, Thomas and James ask. No, 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 no. Percy peeps, and off he goes to deliver the mail. As Percy went to deliver the mail, he was really spooked. He saw all sorts of spooky things. Percy was delivering mail to the Blue Mountain Quarry. He was headed to the top of the Blue Mountain when he saw something that scared him. He saw something creepy lurking in the shadows of Blue Mountain Quarry. Ah, a ghost train, a ghost train, he yelled. And he ran out of the Blue Mountain Quarry as fast as the wheels would turn. He ran so fast away from the Blue Mountain Quarry and he ran to go find Hurricane. Hurricane, I saw the ghost train. Ghost train? Percy, there's no such thing. There is such a thing as the ghost train. I saw him at the Blue Mountain Quarry. Percy, you have to stop listening to Salty's tall tales. Hurricane, will you please go to the Blue Mountain Quarry and see for yourself? <sighs> okay, Percy, I'll go and I'll find this ghost train for myself. But if I'm at the Blue Mountain Quarry fighting a ghost train, 
You'd better get back to delivering the mail. Off her crane went, leaving the steelworks and heading to find Dick. Ghost train. When Hurricane made it to the top of the Blue Mountain Quarry, he saw something dark and mysterious lurking in the shadows. Huh, that must be Percy's ghost train. I'll soon show him. Push the oof. And pushed him off the tracks. That'll teach you for scaring my friend Percy. Meanwhile, Percy was still scared. He thought for sure that he was going to see a ghost. I sure hope Hurricane beats that ghost. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Percy saw something he'd never seen before. Ah, it's the ghost train, it's the ghost train, it's the ghost train. Percy was terrified. Percy ran off as fast as he could. All the way back to Tidmouth Sheds. Percy, good to see you. Salty, I saw it. I saw the ghost train. Aha, I told you it was real, matey. Ghost train? There's no such thing as a ghost train. There is such a thing as a ghost train. I saw it with my own eyes. Huh. Where did you see this ghost train? I saw him by the great pumpkin patch at the crossing by. Percy, I think you should go deliver the mail. I'll go to the pumpkin patch and see if I can't find out who this ghost is. Are you sure, Flynn? Don't worry about it, Percy. I'll find out who this ghost is. So Percy went off, back down to deliver the mail. Salty, your tall tales have caused confusion and delay. I'll go figure out what this ghost is. Ho ho, me hearty. Beware, the ghost is real. So off Flynn went to the great pumpkin patch to find this ghost. Huh, Percy may be afraid of anything, but not me. I'm a firefighter. I'm a hero. I'm a really red engine. I'm the bravest. I'm the best. Yikes, I'm out of here. And Flynn went all the way back to Tim Machette's as fast as he could go. Meanwhile, James was dressed up in his bumblebee costume and trick-or-treating at the old shipwreck. I have the most splendid costume on all of Sodor. Percy was on his way to the old shipwreck. When he got there, he told James all about the ghost. James, I saw the ghost train. He was at the pumpkin patch. Percy, there's no such thing as ghost trains. Salty's telling you tall tales. I saw that ghost train with my own two eyes. That ghost train is real. Have you told anyone else about this? I told Flynn. He's the bravest engine on all of Sodor. He went to the pumpkin patch to see for himself. Well, if Flynn's at the pumpkin patch, that means no one's at Tidmouth Sheds. I better go back to Tidmouth Sheds and keep guard. Percy, you should deliver more mail. So James went back to Tidmouth Sheds. Meanwhile, Percy went off delivering the mail. He went up to the old waterfall, where he met Thomas, who was dressed like Jeremy Jetplane. Thomas, I saw the ghost train. He's real. No, he's not, Percy. Yes, he is. I saw him with my own eyes. Where did you see this ghost train? At the pumpkin patch by the crossing by. Okay, let's go to the pumpkin patch together and see for ourselves. Okay, Thomas, if you say so. And off the two best friends went. Flynn, what are you doing here? I thought you were at the great pumpkin patch looking for ghosts. Er, I found a ghost, but he wouldn't face me. He was too scared. Flynn, there are no such thing as ghost trains. Oh, ho, 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 seems like everyone's been seeing the ghost train. James, I saw the ghost train with my own eyes. Okay, let's all go to the pumpkin patch and see for ourselves. Sure thing. 
you go first. And soon the three engines went off the great pumpkin patch. So where's this ghost you saw? Huh, after one look at me, I'd be surprised if he was brave enough to show his face again. Ho ho, boys. Let's just wait here and see if the operation appears. Yar. Soon the best friends made it to the pumpkin patch. Percy, good to see you. Hey guys, I guess you're here looking for this mysterious ghost, huh? The ghost is real, Thomas. Well, we've been here for some time and I haven't seen the ghost yet. When suddenly, out of nowhere, the engines were face to face with the ghost at the Great Pumpkin Patch. Well, there he is. I'm out of here. Passing. You see, I told you the ghost was for real. There he is. Ho oh, ho, tis the ghost train to be sure. Well, I guess I look ridiculous. I don't know if that's really a ghost train. When all of a sudden, a big gust of wind blew and the sheet flew off in the air. Um, who's that? Oh, him. His name's Merlin. Why is he just standing there? He, um, uh, he thinks he's invisible. Really? He, he thinks he's invisible? I know. I know. It'll take too long to explain. Yar! Well, what are we going to do with him? I thought he was really a ghost train and he scared me. Well, I think there's only one thing we should do then. Get him! 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 Get that guy! Get him! Get him! We're going to get that guy! Oh, we're going to show Merlin! Come on, let's get that guy! Let's get that guy! We're gonna get him! We gotta get that guy! You ready to get that guy? Let's go! Come on! Let's get him! Let's get him! Come on! Chase him! Get him! Oh! Well, so much for our ghost train. How'd they know I was here? The next morning, back at Ted in the Sheds, all the engines were talking about the adventure on Halloween night. Well, I'm sure glad we got to the bottom of this ghost train business. See, Percy, we told you there was no such thing as a ghost train. I know, but you have to admit, Merlin was a pretty convincing ghost. Yar, And I won't be telling any more tales about ghost trains, to be sure. Hey, has anyone seen Flynn? And that's how I single-handedly put out the fire at the Vickerstown Diesel Works and saved the entire island of Sodor. Um, that's very nice, Flynn. Do you think you could get me back on the tracks now? Sure thing, Croc. We'll have you back on the tracks in no time. My name's not Croc. It's Gator. Hey, Croc. Did I ever tell you about the time I scared a ghost train? It was Halloween on the island of Sodor. Gordon was busily pulling his express along the main line. Gordon was much too busy pulling the express to be worried about Halloween. Hurry, 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 he said. As Gordon pulled into Napford Station, he heard someone call his name. Hello, Gordon. Is that you, little Thomas? What are you wearing? Do you like it, Gordon? This is my Halloween costume for the contest. Contest? What contest are you talking about? Sir Topham Hat has ordered a Halloween costume contest for today. The first place engine gets a gold trophy, and I'm gonna win. Huh. I don't have time for this silliness. I pull the express. I'm a very important engine. That may be. But you should still try on a costume. I think you'd look really good. Well, enough of this silliness. 
Off I go! Express coming through! As Gordon puffed along, he couldn't help but think how silly Thomas looked in his costume. Next, Gordon headed down to Brendam Docks to drop off some passengers. While he was at the station, he saw something he couldn't believe. Those three freight cars are moving on their own. What kind of freight cars move on their own? Huh, how do you like that? We fooled that steamy. He thinks we're actually freight cars. Diesel, I might have known. Our Halloween costumes must be very good. What he means to say is, we fooled our steamy good. Diesel, Dan, and Dot, why are you dressed like that? Huh, we're gonna win first place in that Halloween costume contest for sure. Ugh, that silly Halloween costume contest. Oh, the indignity. You shouldn't be wasting time dressing up in costumes. You should be really useful like me. Off he went. Bye bye for now. As Gordon continued on the main line, he couldn't help but think to himself how silly all the other engines on Sodor looked. They're not being really useful, he said to himself. As he pulled into Alstead Station, he noticed something peculiar coming down the hill. Little Percy, is that you? What are you wearing? This is my Halloween costume. I'm going as a ghost. I am sure to win first place in the contest. Hmm, Gordon thought. All the Sodor engines seem to be entering this contest. Maybe it's a bigger deal than I thought. Well, Gordon, the contest starts in a few hours. I have to keep being really useful in delivering my loads. Hope to see you at the contest. As Gordon pulled into the next station, he saw something he'd never seen before coming down the tracks. James, is that you? You're painted like a bumblebee. I had the most splendid costume on all of Sodor. I went and saw Victor at the Steamworks, and he gave me the best paint job I've ever seen. Surely only an engine as splendid as me deserves to win that trophy. Hmm, thought Gordon. If James is even competing in this contest, it might be very serious indeed. As Gordon pulled out of the station, he was seriously thinking about finding himself a costume. As he was thinking about what to wear and chugging down the main line, something suddenly whooshed past him faster than he'd ever seen. What was that? He said to himself. As Gordon pulled into Napford Station, he saw who had whooshed past him so fast. Emily, you look incredible. Oh, hello, Gordon. Where did you get that costume? I went to the Steamworks for a costume, and Victor ended up giving me streamlining. Victor at the Steamworks gave you streamlining? This is more than just a costume. I'm much faster than I've ever been before. Faster than you've ever been before, you say? As Emily pulled out of Napford Station, Gordon knew where he was going to get his costume from. After he was done pulling the express, Gordon headed straight over to the Steamworks. Buenas tardes, Gordon, and welcome to the Steamworks. How can I help you, my friend? Victor? Emily looks fantastic in her streamlining. Do you think you could do the same for me? Of course, my friend. You do realize that this is not just a costume. Once you get streamlined, you will go faster than you've ever gone before. That sounds marvelous. Well, if you want to be in the contest, we must get started now, my friend. So Gordon soon started his transformation.
can rebuild you. We have the technology. Wow, boss. Hey, caramba. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly. Oh, wow. Mi amigo. This is the finest work I have ever done. The shooting star made his way down the track. Everybody was wondering who this engine was. Hey, Baldy, do you hear something? Whoa, what was that? Wow, Cranky, what was that? I don't know. Looked like a shooting star. Meanwhile, the Sodor costume contest was just starting. All the engines had on their best costumes. The judges were busy looking over all the costumes to determine which one was best. Well, Sir Topham Hat, you have some beautiful trains here, but nothing really stands out this year. I was hoping to see something really spectacular this Halloween, when all of a sudden, something rumbled down the track and shot in. Gordon, is that you? You look very fast. That's the best costume I've ever seen. You look like the second most splendid engine on all of Sodor. Gordon, is that you? You may call me the Shooting Star. He looks fast. He looks sleek. This costume is incredible. We have to discuss this. So as the three engines discussed who might win, the other engines all complimented Gordon on his fantastic costume. Huh, pretty good for a steamy. Gordon, you look big and fast. Much faster than Spencer ever looked. I wonder who the winner will be. What he means to say is, you're gonna win for sure, Gordon. Gordon felt splendid and spectacular. He had the best costume on all of Sodor. Then the judges wanted to make an announcement. For displaying the best costume we've ever seen, this year's winner of the Sodor Halloween Costume Contest is... Hmm, Billy. What? Yeah, Billy. Woo! This is the greatest day of my life. Billy, your costume is the scariest monster we've ever seen. You win the trophy of greatest costume on Sodor. I'm not even wearing a costume. Congratulations, Billy. You look splendid. Oh, the indignity. This is very exciting. I thought you won, Gordon. I think you've been robbed. Huh. Even I think you should have won that contest. You look splendid, Gordon. Well, look at the bright side. At least now you're the fastest engine on all of Sodor. Hmm, that is true. No engine is as fast as me. Passing. Wow. What do you see? A streamlined Gordon. Wow. Look at the detail. Who does he look like? Shooting Star. Is this Shooting Star Gordon on the bottom? It says Shooting Star Gordon. And Shooting Star Gordon's tender. Is this the best looking train you've ever seen? Yes! And it's the only one like it ever. It was Halloween on the island of Sodor. At Tidmouth Sheds, Diesel, Rusty, Hero, Murdoch, and Donald 
We're all listening to Sir Topham Hat. You are all really useful engines and can have the night off. I'm going trick or treating. Goodbye. Huh? Well, how do you like that? Says Diesel. I wonder what we should do. Says Murdoch. We should stay here and get some rest. Said Hero. Ah. Said Donald. You're all just a bunch of scaredy engines, not wanting to go out trick or treating. Let's go have some fun, shall we? Well, what do you want to do? Asked Rusty. Aye, let's go to the haunted castle and search for treasure. What is this haunted castle you speak of? It's an old fairy tale story. Nobody really believes in that. Why don't you tell us the story? Huh. All right then. They say Alstead Castle is haunted. But deep inside, there's a lost treasure of gold and jewels waiting to be had. But they say the castle is haunted by a ghost train, and the only time the drawbridge lowers down is one night a year. Ah, it's true. And guess which night it is? Um, a week from next Tuesday? No, Rusty. Tonight's the night. A week from next Tuesday. Doesn't make much sense in our story. So there is gold and jewels to be had. This is very interesting. Aye. Does that mean you'll have a try and go for the jewels, hero? I am very curious to see this haunted castle. Perhaps I will go. Huh? Maybe you should try and go get that treasure. Perhaps I will. Off, hero went to Alstead Castle. To get to Ulstrad Castle was mysterious and scary. First, you had to go through the haunted mine shaft, and then Hero headed through Echo Canyon. He went up over the haunted Rumbling Bridge and down to the haunted mine shaft. Bravely, Hero continued on his way to Ulstrad Castle. As he pulled up to the castle gate, he noticed that the track was out of place and the drawbridge was up. Hmm, he thought to himself, how will I get past this? Suddenly, the track moved in front of him and the drawbridge came flying down on its own. It appears this will be easier than I thought. Then out of nowhere, something was coming towards him. Something wail from the dark. Ah, it's the ghost train. I must leave. And off Hero ran as fast as he could. As the ghost train gave chase, back he ran. Up the mine shaft, over the bridge, through Echo Canyon, through the haunted mine shaft, and all the way back to Tidmouth Sheds. So, Hero, did you make it to Elfstead Castle? I regret to inform you that the story is quite true. There is such a thing as a ghost train. It is most frightening. Huh. Imagine that. Big, strong hero. A scary engine. Typical steamy. Perhaps you would like to go and see for yourself. It is most intimidating. Diesels are braver than steamies. Everybody knows that. Maybe you'd like to prove it, Diesel. Sure thing. Never leave a steamy to do a diesel's job. Ready to go get the treasure? Rusty? Whoa, 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 whoa. Me? I don't want the treasure. I just want to sit here and enjoy my Halloween night. Don't tell me you're a scaddy engine too. I'm not falling for your tricks. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy myself. Scaddy engine, scaddy engine, scaddy engine. All right, I'm falling for your tricks. I'll go to Alstead Castle and get the treasure for myself. So, Dusty left Tidmus Sheds and went down the track. Off he went through the haunted mine shaft, through Echo Canyon, over the rumbling bridge, down through the deserted mine, and onward to Alstead Castle. When he got to the castle gates, he noticed that the track was out of line and that the castle drawbridge was up. Well, this is a waste of time, he said to himself, when all of a sudden the track magically moved in front of him and the drawbridge slowly made its way down. Well, 
I wasn't totally creepy or anything. When all of a sudden he heard an eerie sound. Okay, that's got nope written all over it. Huh, back so soon, Rusty? Yeah, Hero, you were right. That castle is haunted. Definitely a ghost train. Huh, I can't believe it. Rusty is a scaredy engine. Yep, feel free to call me whatever you like. Doesn't matter, I'm not leaving Tidma Sheds again. You're a disgrace to Diesels everywhere. Ha, huh, you sure talk a good game, Diesel. But I don't see you leaving the Sheds. Hero's right. Why don't you give it a try, Diesel? Ha, huh. if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself, I guess. Wait, so also Ah, that's smart. Diesel pulled up to Ulfstead Castle where the tracks were misaligned. He waited and waited and waited, but the track didn't align and the drawbridge didn't come down. Huh, I thought more would happen than just this. Suddenly, out of nowhere, he was face to face with the ghost train! Woo! Yikes! A ghost train! Woo! Woo! Finally, Diesel got away from the ghost train. Headed back to Tidmus Sheds. That ghost train is real and it's scary. It chased me all over the island. Chased you all over the island? Wow, sounds to me like that ghost train is getting pretty aggressive. We better call it a night. I'm not afraid of the ghost train. Well, I certainly am. Yep, afraid of the ghost train over here. You do not fully understand the ghost train, Murdoch. It is most Frightening. I don't know what all this hubbub is about, but I'm the biggest and strongest engine on all of Sodor. I'm not gonna let a ghost train intimidate me. So Big Murdoch decided he was gonna go see the ghost train for himself and try and get the treasure. came up to Ulster Castle, and much to his surprise, crack shifted in his path. Well, I've never seen that before. And the drawbridge lowered on its own. Well, I'll just go in and get the treasure. Easy peasy. Murdoch slowly made his way up Ulster Castle, when suddenly, <laughs> he came face to face with the ghost train. Yep, that's a ghost train. Well, this is about the spookiest thing I've ever seen. The ghost train was hot on Murdoch's tail. Finally, Murdoch lost the ghost train and headed back to Tid Machette's. Well, there's such a thing as a ghost train and I don't think the treasure really exists. I think it would be better if we all just stayed in for the night. I agree. Let's just stay here. It would be very foolish to go out anymore. Ugh, you engines don't even know what you're talking about. Just a wee spirit or apparition. There's nothing to be scared of. Think of all that treasure. You know, I don't even want you to go out, so I'm not going to encourage you at all. Sounds good to me. Ugh, if my brother Dougie was here, we'd show that ghost what's for. Did someone call my name? Ugh, Dougie, good to see you. Donny, what's happening? These scaredy engines are too afraid to go to Ulfstead Castle. 
and try to get some of that treasure. Well, let's you and I go and fetch it for ourselves. Aye, that's what I'm saying. Guys, there's a ghost train. This is legit. Four of us have seen the ghost train all by ourselves. This ghost train is a real thing. Don't go to Ulstead Castle. Don't scare the ghost. Ugh, ghost you say? Nothing but a moan and a groan when it's all said and done. Aye, Dougie. I think I have a plan. Aye, let's hear it then. And off the twin engines went, right to Ulstead Castle. But when they finally got to Ulstead Castle, it was only Donald that approached the front gate. As he stopped, the rails magically moved in front of him. And the drawbridge went down. Ah, come on you wee ghosty, let's see you then. But as the ghost started to come out of the castle, Douglas snuck up behind him. Come along, spirit, cried Donald. Come at me then! Douglas crept up behind the ghost very quietly and put his front wheels right on top of the ghost's sheet. But as the train moved forward, the sheet went flying! And soon, Donald was face to face with... Monster, a monster! Tis a monster! Run for your lives! Ah, Donny, what's all this noise about? Hey, it's a monster! It's a monster! I'd rather have a ghost, I would! Ah, let's get out of here, Donny! Doggy, you stay here and fight him off! I'm off then! Wait for me, Donny! And the Scottish twins ran off as fast as they could! Let's go! Run from the monster! Run from the monster! Go! Go! And they both puffed back as hard as they could to take the sheds. Well, I think it's safe to say they believe in ghosts now. They came back here very quickly. Probably more scared of ghosts than they realized. Huh. Well, that does it for us. I'm staying away from Alstead Castle. That ghost wants to be left alone, and that's just what he'll get. I'm so lonely, I just want a friend. Well, now that I have both of you here, let's hear it. Ah, sir, must we do it again? You know, sir, just because we're Scottish and we're twins doesn't mean that we have to. Now that is enough of that. You know I love hearing it and I want to hear it now. One, two, three, and I would Puff 500 miles And I would puff 500 more Just to be the train That puffed a thousand miles To return to Sodor It was a dark, blustery evening At Tidmouth Sheds The engines were staying up late And telling each other ghost stories James, will you tell us the story Of the little blue engine that disappeared? Asked Thomas that's my favorite one. I don't like that story very much, Henry whispered to Gordon. Don't worry, Henry, said Gordon. It's not like any rain fell on him. A long time ago, James began, there was a brave blue engine who was always eager to help. Blue engine, the station master asked one night, would you go to the end of the tracks and pick up a coach that was left behind? Of course, the brave blue engine said, and he set out in the dark, foggy night. But as the night went on, the fog got thicker and thicker. And soon the little blue engine couldn't see anything at all. Then, out of the fog, 
he heard a wailing noise and saw a bright light. Then he saw an eerie figure all in white come right towards him. The, 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 then what ha happened? Percy asked timidly. That's where the story ends, said James. No one ever heard from that little blue engine again. What do you think that figure in white was? Henry whispered. Don't be silly, Henry, Gordon said with a chuckle. It's just a silly story. What if the story is true? Henry asked. What if that figure in white is out there somewhere right now? Stop being such a scaredy engine, Thomas said. There are no such things as ghosts. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived in Winston. Henry, there is a cargo car full of my personal belongings trapped at the end of the tracks. Can you go fetch it for me? What's inside an entire cargo car? Thomas wondered. Never mind that, Sir Topham Hatt replied. I need it brought back to me immediately. Henry, go and fetch it by my order. Now wouldn't you just know something like that would happen? Gordon, you go instead. It's foggy out. Don't be a scaredy engine, Gordon said. Off you go. Sir Topham Hatt will be needing his personal property. So off Henry went in search of the secret cargo car full of Sir Topham Hatt's personal belongings. It was dark and foggy. Henry was chugging along looking for the cargo car when all of a sudden he heard a scary and eerie sound. Help! The ghost train! The ghost train! The ghost train! He screamed. And off he hurried back to Tidmouth Sheds as fast as he could go. Well, he came back quicker than I thought. Henry, did you get Sir Topham Hatt's cargo car? No, 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 I heard a wailing noise and it scared me. It was the ghost for sure. Henry, there are no such things as ghosts, Thomas said. Sir Topham Hatt will be very cross with you, Henry. You did not bring back his personal belongings. There's nothing to be afraid of, Henry, said Percy. You should go back quickly before the fog gets even thicker. So Henry left Hidden Sheds again and went looking for Sir Topham Hatt's cargo car. He was very scared and moved quickly through the night. As he chugged around looking for Sir Topham Hatt's package, he heard the eerie sound again. I'm very scared, he said to himself, but I must press on. I must get that package for Sir Topham Hatt. Then suddenly, in the dark and in the fog, he saw a strange light. Ah, it's the ghost train, it's the ghost train, he screamed. And off he went as fast as he could, all the way back to Tidmouth Sheds. Well, here we go with round two. <sighs> Henry, what is it this time? I heard the wailing noise again, but then I saw a bright light in the middle of the fog. Henry, there's no such thing as ghost trains. You really need to go get Sir Topham Hatt's cargo car. I'm not going alone. It's scary out there and the ghost train is going to get me. James, this is all your fault. You should know better than to tell Henry these ghost stories. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight now, am I? James, you should go with Henry and help him find Sir Topham Hatt's cargo car. All right, I guess. Henry, I'll go with you. We'll get that cargo car. Okay, I suppose. So off Henry and James went to find the special cargo of Sir Topham Hatt into the fog and the dark.
As they were chugging in the dark and the fog, they heard an eerie sound. Yipe, what was that? asked James. That was the n -n 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 noise I was telling you about, stuttered Henry. As they continued on their way, they saw a bright light shine through the fog. They saw the light. Whoa, do you see that light? I told you, it was the ghost train. We must continue on. It's the only way I'm gonna get any sleep tonight. As the engines carried on, they looked over and saw a mysterious white figure. There it is, there it is, the ghost, the ghost. Creepy. James, we have to get back to Tidmus Sheds immediately. No, Henry, we have to push on as quick as we can go. So while Henry wanted to turn back and go to Tidmus Sheds, James shunted him ahead, hard, and onward they went. We're headed straight towards that light. As the engines pressed on, they soon came face to face with Proteus. Proteus, what are you doing? What am I doing? Having some fun at the expense of a couple of scaredy engines, that's what I'm doing. But if you're the light in the dark, then what is that wailing noise? That's Ivan Hugh. He's just blowing through some pipes on a flatbed. <laughs> oh man, we got you guys real good. Look how scared you are. Well, what about the figure all in white? That is the man in the hills. He is Mr. Percival's favorite. Sir Handel, you're in on this too? Of course. We think it's hilarious to trick you standard gauge engines. You mean you did this just to trick me? Why? Because we think it's very funny. <laughs> and it is very funny. Woo! Narrow gauge engines rule! Well, Henry, I think you know what we have to do now. You get your from tricking us up. Oh. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. Silly steam team, we got you. Oh, dear. Whoa! Oh, bro, he has no! Oof! Oh! Scarlowy out of nowhere! Tricking our friends wasn't a very good idea and wasn't funny at all to us. Ah. Whoa! Whoa! No way! No! Ah. Oof! Oh! Scarlowy again! Oh, wow. Whoa, no, no. No way. Why? Oh. Ah. The next morning, Sir Topham Hat came to Tidmouth Sheds, but nobody was there. He didn't find his flatbed car, and he didn't see any of his steam team, so he decided to go searching for them. As he drove around, he saw all of his engines had been derailed. Henry, what happened? Sir Topham Hat, the entire steam team and the entire narrow gauge engines got into a huge fight. This is how it all started. No, no, no. I don't mean what happened to you. I mean what happened to my candy. Well, look what I found at the end of the track. <laughs> Are you going? Yes, it is. Wow. Leo. One Halloween at Tidmouth Knapford, Sir Topham Hat was talking to Thomas. Thomas, there is a shipment of candy at Brendam Docks. 
Please bring it back here to Tidmouth Napford. Halloween candy for the children? Um, yeah, sure, the children. So off Thomas went to get the trucks full of candy. The children will laugh and cheer when they see me pulling in with the candy. I'm the number one tank engine on all of Sodor. Thomas was headed back to Tidmouth Mapford. When Spencer saw what was happening. Candy, eh? The Duke and Duchess of Boxford would love it if I got that candy for them. Spencer had an idea. Thomas continued on his merry way with the candy. Oh! Huh! That'll teach you, Thomas. That candy belongs to the fastest engine on all of Sodor. Spencer. Spencer, why are you doing this? You thought you could beat me in a race. Well, it's too late, Thomas. That candy is all mine. After Spencer loaded up the candy, he set off to the Duke and Duchess's summer house. <laughs> Meanwhile, James was off on his line, pulling the one thing he loved to pull more than anything else. Freight. Pumpkin freight is the best freight. Suddenly, he came up on... Thomas. Thomas, what happened to you? Spencer knocked me off the tracks. Why? Did you challenge him to another race? No, I was pulling candy for Sir Topham Hatt. And Spencer took all of it. Spencer took Sir Topham Hatt's candy? Now the children won't have any candy for Halloween. I don't think Sir Topham Hatt was going to share that candy with any children. James, you have to stop Spencer and save Halloween. Don't worry about a thing, Thomas. I'm on it. As Spencer sped along the track with the candy, James set off to get the candy back with his pumpkin. As James laid his pumpkin down onto a track, his driver switched the points on the track. What happened? That's what you get for stealing candy, Spencer. You may be the fastest, but I'm the most splendid. So James loaded up all the candy in his trucks. James, are you taking all the candy for yourself? I'm taking more than just the candy, Spencer. I'm taking the pumpkin back, too. Meanwhile, Salty was on the tracks. Yar, Spencer! Who derailed you now? Yar, Salty! I can't lie to you. It was James. He stole all the candy from the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. Yar, that doesn't sound like James. And why does the Duke and Duchess have such a long haul of candy? They were going to have a Halloween party. That candy belongs to the Duke and Duchess. I'd never lie to you, Salty. Yar! All those little children without the candy. Well, we've got to get it back from James, we do. So off Salty went to find James. James was on his way back to Tidmouth Napper, when suddenly... Salty found James. Yar! Are you stealing candy from children now, James? Salty, what are you talking about? This candy belongs to Sir Topham Hat. Yar! Spencer told me all about you being a salt doggy. I don't even know what that means, but I'm almost at Tidmouth Napford and I'm delivering the candy. Yar! We'll see about that. And with that, Salty sped away. Huh, there's too much salt in his old engine. He doesn't know what he's talking about. James continued on his way when suddenly... Salty, why? Yar, my name might be Salty, but it's a sweet tooth I have. Yar, ho ho ho. So Salty loaded up all the candy and went about his way. Yar. Down by the docks, that's the place to be, down by the docks, with all the candy. He's fast. Meanwhile, Percy's found James. James, what happened to you? 
Salty derailed me and took a bunch of candy. You mean all the candy for the children? Well, it was Sir Topham Hat's candy. I don't know if any are going to go towards any children. Sir Topham Hat will be very upset. I should go talk to Salty. So off Percy went to find Salty. Salty was racing on the track way too fast. Percy was chugging along minding his own business. Yar! I feel like someone released a Kraken on me. Salty, now we're both derailed and the children will never have the candy. Meanwhile, Toby was chugging along over a bridge. Oh, All of a sudden, he came upon a crash. Percy, Salty, what happened to you two? Yar, that treasure and candy be mine, yar. Toby, you must quickly get all the candy and take it to Tidmouth Napford immediately. It's for the children. Don't worry, Percy. I know just what to do. Meanwhile, at Tidmouth Napford, it was getting late. Sir Topham Hat was wondering where all the candy was. Thomas should have been back hours ago. I must find that candy. So Sir Topham Hat got in a police car and they went off in search of Thomas. <coughs> Thomas, what happened to the candy? Sir Topham Hat, it was Spencer. He derailed me and took all the candy for himself. We must find Spencer immediately. <coughs> well, Spencer, where's the candy? James derailed me, sir, and took the candy for himself. We must find James. <coughs> James, what happened to the candy? It was salty, sir. He took the candy for himself. I think he was headed towards Brendan Docks. It is almost time for Halloween. We must find that candy. <coughs> salty, Percy. It appears you two had a head-on collision. But more importantly, where is the candy? Yar, Twas Toby, sir. He came and got it from us. I told him to take it directly to Tidmouth Napford, sir. And I wonder where Toby might be. Well, Billy Bob, what do you think? Yee-hoo! This here's the best Halloween ever, Mr. Toby. What do you think, Oinky? <laughs> He was at a crossing by. <laughs> Off Salty went to find James. 